Hey YouTube, Camper Van Kevin here. Maybe May May this time. Woo! Shutter bumps. I have left Sierra Vista, Arizona. And I am at La Cienegas. La Cienegas. National Park. I keep looking for a place to take my uh, tracker four-wheeling. So finally I just called the uh, BLM and they told me about this place here. I had to backtrack from Sierra Vista back toward uh, Tucson. And I'm in the grasslands. I'll turn the camera around and show you where I'm at. How beautiful is this? The grasslands of Arizona. This dirt road here is six miles long before I get back to BLM land. And it's kind of rough. Can't be in any hurry. This is, uh, they have hunting back in here. All kind of trails. Hear a lot of ATVs and stuff come back in here. So I'm excited to see what I'm going to find. You know, Arizona is so diverse. It's a lot more than just desert. I can't wait to go back to that uh, Car Canyon. I talked to the BLM about that and they're not going to open the gate to get up to the upper campgrounds uh, till the middle of March. Those mountains up there were well, stunning. We got cows. I see him, Daddy. You want me to bite him? No, that cow's not bothering you. I'll bite him. No. No, baby, May May. You can't bite him either. This grass is getting tall, Martini. Good gracious. It is cold. It got down to about 26 last night in Sierra Vista, my boondocking spot. I'm about freezing tonight as well. Martini, have ever told you how pretty your ear hair is? I know you like it. I like it too. They say there's been a lot of movies and shows filmed back in here. Westerns, country westerns. I forget the name of the programs though when I was reading about it. What are these? I have never seen. Looks like a deer. stop maybe I can keep it steady Tucker what are those man they kind of look like a deer but 
like a goat and a deer had a baby. I'll agree with that. They're not too scared of us, are they? I got a feeling of something you don't see every day. Dad, I'll bite them. You want me to bite them? No, they're not bothering us, Tuck. I'll bite them. Okay, let's see what else we see down here. Well, I have spotted some RVs. One there in the distance, and the fifth wheel over there. Must be at the right place. Raptors overhead. Well, that's good to know. Red tail hawk, a keistrel, peregrine falcon, prairie dogs. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, I met one of the campers up there, and she told me that there was another campground about five miles up this road. She says, but she thought that it might be getting full. Some kind of Mormon get-together. But I'm going to head up here and take a look. I can always go back. And I've seen a couple offshoots. It's like people camp right here on the side of the road. So it's all BLM land. So I should be able to camp anywhere. Well, I'm not the only one in here. Ugh. Truck camper. Some very odd looking terrain. Is this mesquite? Is that mesquite wood that everyone is talking about? Yeah, we have shutter bumps in Georgia. I see we're not the only state that's plagued with them. Some kind of pin. It's like camping right here. Well, what do you know? There's water. Thank you, Tucker, for blowing in my ear. The heron over there. I'm intrigued. Never seen country like this. Well, got set up here. Took a nap, going to unhook the tracker. And the babies have already found some prairie dog holes. I see signs for them up here, send us what they are. These are quite large, much larger than the other ones I've seen in the desert. 
up in Tucson and uh, Quartzsite. Quite a gathering here. Something to do with Mormons, that's all I know. tracker on hook we're gonna see what all the kind of stuff we can find to get into yeah a lot of people have been getting on to me about letting me let the wolf pack dig in all these holes um, yeah, they found these prairie dog holes uh, when we first got here and yeah I did let them dig um, they're saying that they could dig up a rattlesnake or tarantula or scorpions and all that they're absolutely right um, but with the temperature is this low, I think the high yesterday was around 50. Uh, I don't think I have anything to worry about. As it gets warmer, um, I'm going to make them stop. Uh, of course, I don't want anything to happen to my babies. So for all you guys that are concerned, thank you for that. Uh, but I'm, I'm watching it and I'm monitor monitoring it. And uh, I'm not going to take any chances with that. Wow. I had to get back inside the tracker. The wind picked up. They just came whistling around. Picked up a lot of dust and stuff and blew over here on me too. But uh, back here at the Mormon camp, there's some guys that have four-wheelers and uh, Polaris razors. Uh, I stopped and talked to them. And they told me back here in these grasslands, there's over like 20, 30 miles of off-road trails. So I'm very, very excited to take us back there and and uh, put this little geo tracker uh, to the test. That's what I bought it for was to play with it and to explore with it. Okay, I'm gonna end the little video right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Next video. Let's all go out there and go trail riding together. But until then, I'll see you later. You guys take care. Bye-bye.